Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic and this is my little baby dumpling. He will be snoozing as I read, hopefully. All right, anyways, today I'll be reading The Remarried Empress, episode 176. Let's go ahead and get started. Previously, Navier asked others for advice on what to get Henry. <laughs> McKenna told her to do a dance that Henry likes, refer to episode 158. At this rate, I might as well prepare something that's been recommended and have Henry choose. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> I liked Neon's idea the best, but I feel it lacks the dignity expected of an empress. If you know what I mean. Oh, about the damaged carriage, your majesty. It's as, as, as you suspected. The person who was sitting furthest away from the broken wheel was responsible. I knew it. What did they say their motive was? Did they want to destroy Emperor, Emperor Sylvester's gift to me? Well... He claims that Viscount Ishka and his wife ordered him to do it. Interesting. It must be because of me. The Viscount and his wife think that I'm... They think that I'm... Huh? What I mean to say is, they're under the mistaken impression that I'm His Majesty's second mistress. They hate me because of it. Mistress? I, I, I swear I'm not his mistress, your majesty. His majesty let me stay in the South Palace and help the court mage with his research. That's why they're under the, that misconception. I promise that's all there is to it. So that's the reason. I wondered why he sent Evely of all people when others could have done it. Relax. It's all right. I'm not surprised by the Viscount and his wife's reaction. Rashta is their adoptive daughter, after all. <laughs> but the fact that another member of the delegation accepted their request means they aren't the only ones with the misunderstanding. I'm sorry to hear that. I, pers I purposefully avoided cl clearing up the misunderstanding. I wanted Empress Rashta to be irritated. Oh my, how cute. <laughs> and was she irritated? Uh-uh. Yes. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. But sabotaging the carriage you were, all, you were on is taking things too far. I'm fine, your majesty. They usually don't do anything more than glare at me or talk about me behind my back. Why not come and stay in the Western Empire? Hmm? I, um, I guess it's not possible. Um, if I were to stay here now, I'd merely be an unexceptional girl living on Your Majesty's generosity. But, if I learn from the court mage, I can become a much more useful person. I'll come to your majesty once I achieve that. And, should you ever need my help before then, I'll rush to your side at once. Oh, Like, I love that Navier has so many people that just like, would are so loyal to her, you know? Like, no matter what happens, like... They will be there to aid her. You know, like that's, that's something that Rashta don't have. And yeah, it really does sucks to be her, you know. The Remarried Empress, episode 176. Evely and her traveling party arrived days after the banquet was over. Gotta make sure he's breathing. <laughs> I mean, like, it's so funny that you know, I'm so afraid of SIDS. So as he's sleeping, I kind of like poke him and like it, he get kind of like, <gasps> you know, I throw his arms up and I'm like, okay, you're alive. I'm good. 
I don't know if you guys ever done that. People who, who have been parents or are new time, like first time parents like me had ever done that, but I do that and it gives me reassurance. Okay. I even bought a sock for him. So I know that it's like monitor, monitoring his heart rate and everything and it beeps if something's wrong. So yeah, anyways, so they didn't stay for long. The person who destroyed the carriage is being transported separately. He will likely be punished immediately after his arrival for the crime of tampering with the Emperor's gift. But there is a limit to what a commoner can do against nobles. The Viscount and his wife need to be dealt with. I sent a letter to Sovatiu and I hope he looks into it. Now. <laughs> I just need to decide what to give Henry. Time passed quickly, until Henry's birthday was but a day away. I settled on a gift and all that's left for me to do is give it to him. At least that was the case until... Uh, there's something I really want for my birthday, my queen. Uh -huh. After all that effort I put into preparing a gift, he now has something particular in mind? What is it? Uh, you can tell me. There's no need to hold back. You mean that? Of course. As long as he doesn't ask for the Eastern Empire or something. Then, may I have the gemstone? Emperor Sylvester gifted you. Oh. He wants the fairy's tear? I've always wanted it. It's not like there's anything wrong with the gem itself, my queen. I can't say I was expecting that. But didn't Sylvester try to give me a ring to Rashta? And got angry with me when things didn't go his way? Plus, I thought it would be a great gift, since Henry does love collecting gems. Dun -dun. I just didn't think you wear it to the banquet right away. Wow. I'd like to wish you a happy birthday, Your Majesty. Your reign promises greater prosperity for the Western Empire. And Count Fenir, Sylvester's secretary. If Henry's goal was to provoke envoys from the Eastern Empire who knows about the gift, then he succeeded. But why did he invite Duke Zemencia and his family? Wouldn't it make sense not to invite them after all that's happened? <laughs> his smile's so sweet, but I just know he's not all sweet, you know? That look on his face. He's clearly up to something. Oh, the stare. Your Majesty. Ambassador Klein. Klein special envoy from White Mond. I'd prefer it if Henry was present when we discuss opening their port, as it must be handled carefully. Thank you for traveling such a distance to celebrate with us. White Mon's gift was incredibly thoughtful. I am honored you think so, Your Majesty. Are you enjoying the party? Yes, it is remarkable how similar yet different the culture here is to White Mon. In particular, I am dazzled by the splendor of this hall. This is merely Henry's preference and has nothing to do with the Western Empire's culture, but I don't see a need to correct him. As you know, our nations have always had a solid alliance, yet now we find ourselves facing difficulties like never before. <laughs> is he subtly trying to make it seem like both our nations are at fault? Indeed. I was shocked when White Mon chose to detain our merchants so abruptly. Y yes, that was undoubtedly our fault. That's why our king has personally sought to reconcile the two nations and return to amicable, amicable relations. Yet Emperor Henry has given us no response other than continuing to mobilize his troops to the border 
Our citizens live in fear. Henry mobilized the military? We do not want war, your majesty. The incident with the merchants was a grave error on our part. But I urge you to see it from the perspective of a lesser power, one that is easily intimidated and unnerved by any boo from a more powerful nation. I have heard much about you, your majesty. I believe you will be able to persuade Emperor Henry. Please have pity on the people of White Mond, many of whom will be injured or killed should war break out. How threatening are the troops that there this rattled? This is a gift to your future heir. Please forgive us for missing the celebration and presenting it to you now. We believe your heir will like it. It's quite shocking. It would be rude to decline it as such an official event. Their intent is transparent. They're offering something that is only useful if both sides reconcile. <laughs> Do they think I hold that much influence? Thank you for, you, for this generous gift. I understand why you requested an anti-invasion agreement, but the terms favor your side while they constrain us. We also value all of our citizens just as you do. Oh. I hope you'll think it over. Oh, who's screaming? Somebody, somebody help! I'm trying to like... I don't remember her. Is she new? I don't remember her. Uh, it's been a while, but maybe we kind of went over her before, but she seems new. Okay. Okay. Something's happening. Someone, this girl screaming, screening, screaming. Hello, screening. Hello. Screaming for help. So this can get interesting. Because it looks like someone got, either got... Or, yeah. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and uh, we will catch you guys next time. Bye!